Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. Good afternoon from the city of Owewe, Imo State. My name is Rafa Wazurike. Uh, a few hours ago, I received a call from unknown number. Usually, I pick up my calls. So the person identified himself as a corner from Enugu. That's what he told me. He mentioned his name, but I forgot to. The true call identified him as a George Paul. George Paul. So he said that he was requesting me to assist, if I could uh, assist release the release of one major general that was uh, abducted in Imo State recently. Uh, actually, I have read about that in the media that a certain retired major general was abducted. So I asked him, "So why me? Why do you want me to assist you?" So they are uh, approaching prominent persons in the southeast. That's what he told me. I then asked him, don't you have the, don't you have your sources of intelligence? You must have had your sources of intelligence or was I identified intelligence agency has ever approached me or, or asked me to assist them? Then he started evading my questions. He said, I should forget, I should forget. I said, no, 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 I'm not going to forget. Why should you ask me to help you release uh, an abducted general, major general? At that juncture, he cut off his phone. I called him back, he couldn't pick. I have called him several times since then, he has never picked his call. I said, okay, let me make a video on this. It looks, each time they want me to talk, they come through one way or the other to make me talk or force me to talk. I'm not into crimes. I have never kidnapped in my life. I have no reason to commit crimes because I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. I have no reason to do that. I know the law. It's amazing that someone should call me to say I should assist them with uh, effect the release of a retired major general. And he claims to be a soldier. As I should say this, because I don't know where they are going to. Please go and find your clothes where you took your bet. Ralph Wazurike is not a criminal. I've never involved myself in any crime before. When I started this struggle, my motto was non-violence, non-exodus. And I still stand by it. There were the politicians from Ipo land who asked Obasan Jordan to ignore me, that the best thing he would do was to ignore me. Obasan Jordan ignored me. The government ignored me. They never negotiated with me. But today you have seen those you cannot ignore. It's affecting you, affecting me, affecting everybody. Today, many of you cannot enter the Southeast because you thought you were doing it against what's wicked. You are doing it against yourself. This army colonel or whatever, whether he's a colonel or not, whether he's a soldier or not, you know those who are causing security in the Southeast. 
if you're actually a soldier, you know them. They are the politicians. If you don't know, or if you pretend you don't know, I will tell you now. The security agencies know those who are causing insecurity, not only in the Southeast, but in Nigeria. At least for Southeast, I can tell you I know because I live with them. They are the politicians. You are also helping them to do this because you, prov you provide them security. They use you also in carrying out all these criminalities. You assist them. So don't pretend as if you don't know those who are doing it. I have my personal experiences. If you want, I tell you. When I started the struggle in Lagos in 1999, I came into uh, Southeast in, in the year 2000. Then I wanted to have a deputy, an assistant. This thing I'm saying now, I have never said it for 23 years. I've never told anybody, but I'll tell you now. Then I picked one person to be my deputy. I won't mention his name, though he's late now. Immediately, the politicians saw that they could not convince me in their nefarious activities. They approached my so-called deputy. One early morning, one, no, 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 one evening, the guy came to me from my back. Right, to me, side. Slept in my house at Okigwe. I was living in Okigwe town that, that period. Number 100 over the road, Okigwe. You know, that we are do, I'm doing non-violence, but no problem. But we should try to look at another angle of getting money. I asked him how. I started flowing with him. I wanted to know what he was trying to suggest to me. He said, look, eh, I have managed to acquire arms now. Um, um, I want us to, uh, you know, uh, you pretend as if you don't know. I'll be doing kidnapping uh, with these guns I've acquired. Um, uh, you know, bunkering, all these things. I, I didn't want to let you know. I just want to handle this aspect. All you know is that I'll be bringing money. I said, really? I said, ah, how? How do you manage to acquire the guns? He said it was a politician that gave him the money. That he had bought five bazooka. That was the word he used. He said bazooka. I didn't know what bazooka is. I've never even seen it before. I said bazooka. He said they are brand new. That one politician gave the politician he mentioned his name then was a national chairman of PDP, national chairman. That national chairman had served as a national secretary of PDP. That national chairman is today late. I will not mention his name. I have never told anybody this for the past 23 years. I said, Really? You have gone this far? I said, okay, I am the founder of Maso. That's what I told him then. I said, as far as I'm concerned, this project is governed by non-violence, non-exodus. From this moment, you are spared. You are sacked. He looked at me. I said, move out of my house. This moment, you are no more, no longer my member. And he went out. Fine. I told him I gave I give it 24 hours to vacate our uh, office in Aba and uh, surrender all the documents in your possession. So the next morning I went to Aba. So when I went to Aba, I stormed our secretary and saw that Bakasi boys I had already lined, aligned with the Bakasi boys and all that they were brandishing guns in front of our office in Aba. 
I saw them, I looked at them, I turned back. When I had reached about two kilometers of the office, I called him. He came. He told me in the presence of my security and the other people, his own security, that today he has armed his men. I should go my own, he will go his own. Let me, let, that I should go and do my non-violence, that is not doing any non-violence, that how people don't understand the meaning of non-violence. No, even the boys who were there didn't know that he had told me this in the house the day before. So I came back to Akiba. As this went on, people saw there was a rift between us, but they never knew the cause of that rift. After a few months or so, he formed his own organization called the Eastern Mandate, whatever. Eastern Mandate, whatever. Today is late. So why I'm saying this is because people do not know that all the insecurity we have are caused by politicians. 95% of insecurity we have are caused by politicians. I don't want to talk. I, ha I never wanted to talk. Because I know. All the factions in my organization were called, caused by politicians. Because they would approach me to dance to their tune, and I will refuse. They will use my voice. All of them. So, when they come out, they, 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 they start playing the ostrich. They do all these things in collaboration with the security. And the security will pretend as if they don't know. So my brother, or my dear George Paul, or whatever you are answering, go and find their clothes where you had their bed. You see, my, the difference between Wazrike and these people are, is, uh, are many. The differences are many. I'm here in my compound now. They cannot. They are all you know in uh, Abuja and Lagos, right now away from uh, southeast. I have no place to run to. Since 19, since the year 2000, I came into Ebolaand. I have never gone to any other place to sojourn, to live, or to stay. I'm here. But they are free. They have gone to other places. They are the ones running. I don't have to run. I'm a risk taker. I have nothing to fear. My hands are clean. Their hands are dirty. That's why they are running. You sponsor non-state agents. Non-state actors, you give them guns because of four years in office or eight years in office. After you are tenure, you leave office. You will not have the power or the face to ask them to return the guns you are giving to them. And you don't ask yourself, where are these guns have distributed to these boys for election, for campaign? So it's haunting you today. You are the ones running because your hands are dirty. So the man who called me, that's the much I can assist you. If actually you are a genuine colonel in the army, if you pretend you don't know those who are passing in security, go and check those you people are carrying their bags. You, you people are serving. You people are protecting politicians. Go and ask them. Leave was Rike alone. You know, I have no need for that. I don't need blood money. The one I have is enough for me. I'm content with whatever I get. I want to sleep soundly in the night. Go and meet politicians, Mr. George, Paul. They will tell you. They will help you. I'm not trying for was Rike. Thank you very much. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye bye.